Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. In the last video, we talked about advanced glycation end products, which can damage health and lead to disease. Another aspect of cooking is the production of cancer-causing compounds. If you look at the medical research, it appears that one way to dramatically reduce your risk of developing cancer is to avoid what the Western cultures do today is a tendency to consume overcooked foods. Today we want everything fast. The faster the better. So cooking at high temperature is very popular. In the, tap, in the typical fast food restaurant there's a grill and a fryer and both of these are high heat devices. The high heat cooking problem has been documented in several epidemiological studies. A group at the University of Minnesota reported that women who ate overcooked hamburgers had about a 50% greater risk of breast cancer than women who ate rare or medium cooked hamburgers. The famous Iowa women's study found that women who consistently ate well done steak, hamburgers, and bacon had a 4.6 fold increase in the risk of breast cancer. Now for full disclosure, there are some epidemiological studies out there that don't show the same increase in cancer risk with a greater intake of these toxins, such as the nurse's health, health study. You men out there, you're also at risk. A study published in 2012 found that men who who ate one and a half servings of pan-fried meat each week in, increased their risk of advanced prostate cancer by about 30 percent. And men who ate two and a half servings of red meat cooked at a high temperature were 40 percent more likely to have advanced prostate cancer. Now considering that some of you guys out there are eating high temperature cooked meat every single day may give us a clue to why men now suffer epidemic rates of prostate cancer. As I've said many times before, the present risk for developing cancer in a female is about one in three. And for a male, it's one in two. Now, cooking meats at high temperature creates heterocyclic amines, and these chemicals cause the mutation of genes. Heterocyclic amines have been linked to many different kinds of cancer, including prostate, breast, colorectal, esophageal, lung, and others. Now, it is important to remember that this doesn't just happen with red meat. If you grill a salmon, which most of us consider a healthy food, you'll still get a big dose of heterocyclic amines. Now, fortunately, there is a way to neutralize dietary carcinogens. And one of the most potent chemicals is indole-3-carbonyl, I3C. And this is found in cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. Studies show that when you give I3C to rats before they're given a cancer, these cancer-causing chemicals, the number of tumors can be reduced by, get this, 96%. Animal studies also have shown that supplementing I3C can lengthen the time for which it takes for tumors to develop in animals that are treated with these carcinogens by a factor of three. Another compound that greatly reduces the mutagenic activity of car carcinogens is chlorophyllin, which can be supplemented at a dose of 100 milligrams. So if you can't say no to Uncle Bob's overcooked hamburgers, at least chase it with a quarter pound of cabbage or take a couple of I3C pills and maybe throw on top of that a chlorophyllin pill. This is Dr. G. Thank you so much for watching.